scary, a word many people may use to describe a horrific incident, something that frightens them, maybe even a jump scare. From that statement alone, you can already tell that the word scary is due to interpretation to the individual. And for me personally, Eastern culture horror stuff is my thing. Or rather, actually, it's not, because it's the thing that scares me. For today's episode, I figure I'd go ahead and tap into one of my phobias, which is an Eastern culture horror game. The game is called Paper Dolls. It's made by a Chinese company who couldn't even release their own game in their own country due to the rules and regulations. These guys went ahead and thought, screw it, and now they're actually allowing the rest of the world to enjoy their game. Now, I want you guys to let me know what your phobias are down in the comment section, okay? It might be Fortnite, which I understand. But listen, this is the fun thing about this. Everyone's scared about something different, and I'm interested to see your responses. I also have no idea where this intro is going, so let's go ahead and cut to the gameplay. The way they're working the strings right there, like literally. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Paper Dolls. This might be a one-off experience where we go ahead and check out the story that this game tries to deliver. The game is all about ghosts and other supernatural things going on and I think of the scary stuff probably. So with that said, if you do enjoy this episode, I think you know what to do. All right, here we go. Is this like a real life situation? Looking semi live action to me. Okay. I mean, subtitles are on, by the way, guys, but no idea what's being said. Sounds like an argument. Death. Bro, the freak did you throw at the girl? A glass? My like, gosh, maybe you should be the one getting out right now. All right, let's not try and judge anything too much right now. Daddy, are we at mommy's home yet? You look like you're still in a car. Some more, Mom. She lives in a car, then I guess, yeah, and but... As soon as you open your eyes, so. we'll be there. Is that guy okay? We take your pews today. <laughs> Uh -huh. Where are we going now? Ah. Yeah. The dad better not have said that. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 hold up. We just got killed, right? Oh, we can back up. Freaking truck driver. All right, I'm gonna find where that dude is, but for now, try and focus on this. I mean, the door seems okay, which is a good sign. Get the torch. Go with the daughter. Don't let her go walking away. Bro. The freak? So animated. Now he decides to go ahead and do that. Come on, lift your head up. Why the freak are we? No idea. It's so silent. But we're up on our two feet. Stumbled in a little bit. Finally. You the freak. Anyway, this is Paper Dolls. Finally, we are back. So, this was. What the freak have I stumbled upon 4.8 seconds into this game? Oh, okay, it's just a mannequin head. Extra quick turn. All right, I would say that's more of a medium turn, but I get what the game's going for. It throws you straight in here, though. Apparently, though, we are back, so we must know this location or something. No idea how. I'm gonna go this way anyway. Uh, yo, dude, I'll give you a heads up if I see something. Get, get it? Because the head's like... So, we're in basically a box room for the most part. A couple of areas we might be able to search, which we can. Oh, we're in open this. The freak is that? What? You know, I don't really care about the paper and go... <laughs> Is this details? Cloth strip. Is that from the daughter, maybe? Can't see through that. And I'm actually gonna back up because that is a prime jump scare moment. Okay, there's a lock here. Ah, so we've got to actually find items to try and escape. Now, what is with the pile of weird stuff that we just found? What the freak is that? I'm gonna search normally. Nothing's wrong with the place. We're all good. <laughs> Let me open this door. Bro, pull the handle. What the freak is going on? The ambience has just picked up exponentially. We've got dudes singing right now with control. What for? Bro, they're giving us a hiding spot straight out of the bat. That's, um, that's not a good sign. Achievement unlocked hide and seek. Did I just successfully hide from something? Maybe when the voice comes in, though, that's saying that something's nearby. Oh, I have no idea. And I also don't like the fact that there is blood dripping down. I can't even finish a sentence right now. It's something here. I'm so confused. Get over here real quick. What is this? Uh, looks like some kind of, like, voodoo cursed doll. Don't take a cursed doll. If you know it's that, why would you pick it up? All right, my man is well on the route to actually getting snapped up by some kind of zombie or something. And let me guess, another cursed doll yes! in the back pocket. Let me open this last one here. And this is another hiding spot. So I'm assuming with the things we have, we can piece something together. Newspaper clipping. 
That's all it tells us. Aye. Wait, puzzle, so press down. Okay, so with that knowledge then, that must mean that this here represents the puzzle we gotta do. So maybe what we've gotta do is start some kind of fire and then put something in it. Perhaps like the cursed dolls? Because I mean, burning a cursed doll sounds like a great idea, right? <laughs> Let's check this out in here. Another pile of this stuff. So a pile of paper ingot. Perhaps that's like a flame source. So let's see if we can actually put it in the pot thing over here. So press E on this and let's try and actually put this in here. There you go. So we can. That's part one of this puzzle done. Well, I say puzzle, we're starting a fire. Now the second part is simply trying to find ourselves something to make some kind of fire source. Wait, hold up. We can play this. We've got a cloth strip. What? Uh, why well, go ahead and put a cloth strip on that? I don't know. Oh, what's this up here? It's like, a, it's like, okay, it's a match. That's what we need to start the fire then, right? Okay, so go and interact with this, and then we'll use the match on it. That's it! So perhaps we burn the cursed dolls, and they'll have something within? I really have no idea, but progress is the freak. Why the freak did a fire splurge out some kind of glass object? The freak is this. Why'd I get a vase for this insecticide? What the freak am I gonna use that for? I truly have no idea. And I can't find too many other things, so hold up. This is talking about the gramophone. I think this thing is missing here, so the actual crank itself. Where could we find that? Okay, we've also got this here. Now, I used the match already on the fire source down there, so I can't use it again. What am I looking for? Sound is building. Why is it building? Oh! Get in the corner. My butt cheeks are wedged so hard in this corner. They're like probably squared out right now. What is happening? Like, nope. Okay, there's the singing again. All right, we hit last time when it worked out. Let's do it again, I guess. There's a record in here too. Take that. All right, good stuff. Okay, it twisted. I don't care. Now listen, open up. You go ahead and sit in there, okay? Let's just hope there's no demons waiting outside. So listen. Okay, the man stopped singing. I'm gonna exit. All right, so we're gonna go over to this thing and we're gonna place the uh, twisted record on here. Okay, the disc is twisted. I mean, yeah, I know. Hey, there's a crack in this thing. That's what we need. That's the dial. So. Bro, we have the pesticide. Why don't you think to do that before, you know? Okay, so we'll go ahead and use the pesticide on these guys, I guess. I mean, I'm sorry, my dudes. I, I would just reach in and grab it personally and not try and kill them. I guess we got no choice. And then we'll go ahead and take that. So there's the handle. Now then, we can use this over here. Try and use the handle on this. You see? Looking good. So do we dial this or do we put the disc on first? Okay, so the disc is still twisted, meaning we're going to try and flatten it somehow. How do we go ahead and do that, though? Okay, what's this right here? Another match, okay. So, do we want to use that to light one of the candles in here? We already know that there's one up there. And that is the only remaining candle in the whole place. So, I mean, why not? All right, so we'll go ahead and light that thing up. Does it reveal anything? Absolutely nothing, so that's fantastic. Now, it's given us an interact prompt. So, if I put the disc on this, will it do anything? I'm gonna heat the thing up, of course. And now, I guess we're gonna unbend it. Maybe for the most part, that just corrected itself. That's pretty flat to me, so hopefully that plays. So we'll place this guy on there, and then we'll go ahead and crank this thing up. Why we're making music right now, I really have no idea, guys. I don't get it. But we're gonna go ahead and do it, because apparently ghosts like it. Hey, indeed. Go ahead and crank it like so. And... Of course. That makes sense. That would happen. Maybe the cloth? It was that simple? Okay, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. The music playing. Let's just hope the ghosts appreciate the lengths I'm going to to actually please them, okay? But they can go about their business, have a nice little pie, and enjoy their day. What the f The drawer opened up? First puzzle. It's like a key to it. Okay, can that stop playing? Sweet! At least it stopped playing, I guess. Now that is a copper key, meaning we've got to look for one of the various locks, which uh, I guess resembles more of a copper appearance. That's looking gold. Perfect. This one right here looks much more copper, so let's try- Didn't mean that. That's it then. First puzzle done. Open that. Why does it sound like you just reloaded a shotgun? <laughs> that would be a pretty good thing. That shouldn't have made me jump also, by the way. What the freak was that? We got some incense. Ignite the candle to light the incense up. Ha! Got this right here. I mean, the smell of incense is a pretty nice aromatic thing. I'm not sure why we'd do that. Because it's a safe point. So blessed by the divinity, this place is absolutely safe. Well, I'm gonna stay here then. I don't wanna die today. How about within the drawer here? Let me find like another key. Brass key. The music can't get more dramatic, but I already know I'm safe. So demons, don't even try anything. Now this lock over here. Perhaps this one is brass? It is. And again, we're gonna open this thing and look, guys. Oh. Load the gun. Be ready for absolutely anything. This place is so run down. Clearly, someone must have lived here at some point, or maybe something. Another lock source right there. Absolutely everything thrown over. I think this is all we're dealing with right now. So we may as well walk on down. Let's go. The freak is down at the end here. Like a box or something? Can we maybe access this? Another match. These things must be real precious. Freak. Why'd it drip right there? I'm gonna also pick this up over here. Some bad- Freak! What the hell? Holy crap, okay. What the freak is going on? 
Okay, I'm literally having a jaw right now. Nope. I press S. I, I press F. Yeah. I'm dead. All right, this time, let's be ready. So, first of all, we dodge that one right there. Okay. Then the ghost comes in. So, S. There we go. Be ready. All right. Uh, oh, my God. I got to look at the keyboard every time. A and S. Woo! All right. Are we good? What the heck can we find? Look at this. E. Bro, look at his mouth. The amount of questions I'm asking right now is beyond anything. I mean, I guess thanks, daughter, but now you're gonna be chased down by a ghost, so I really do wish you all the best. Mr. Lou's diary. Crazy? They are all crazy. Something definitely happened upstairs. Okay, another cursed doll right here. So I think I'm on about four so far, and I didn't get the item over here this time round. Take the match. Never open this. Up. If you literally move, I'm gonna Can I interact with the doll. Don't you dare jump. You dare. Okay, I've seen enough. And I'm gonna close it away. <laughs> Never to be seen again, hopefully. Aha, Nanny Chen. Nanny Chen boiled medicine in the tea house and carried it to the madame before noon. Well, that's nice of her. Clearly that's like a uh, snippet of some kind of newspaper. I think after that first duel, I'm about ready to save again. Let's do this. Well, I guess the only thing we can really do is follow exactly where the ghost and also my daughter went. Okay, we've got two different ways we could go. <laughs> Why are you using your back feet to open doors? I'm not even prepared for that. So another lock on this door. Here I go. Bali? What the heck? So she's that way, so we have to get the key. Don't be afraid, Molly. No, be afraid. I'll find the key as soon as I can. Do not tell your door to not be afraid when there's definitely ghosts here. Bunny? I thought there was going to be some staring at my back meat right there. So we have to go down the corridor this way right here. I'm almost certain we're going to encounter that ghost at least one more time. Another lock. Everything locked up in this place, seriously. Apart from this door at the very end here, so I assume we can push this open. That we can. We simply have a wardrobe. Another cursed doll, obviously. Wait, the freak? There's loads of them right here. So we have to balance this out by the looks of things. Okay, so we'll put that one there and that one there. What the freak are we doing right now? What about if we just put these two here? That doesn't balance it out. Oh wait, maybe the legs have different weights to them. So if we have maybe three of the legs there, then do one and a half this side. That's not quite it. Well, perhaps I can actually do this puzzle right now because I don't have enough of the cursed dolls. So let me back out a second. Let's see if we can find maybe one or two more. Is it through here? There's one more. Who the freak is closing doors behind my back? Can you stop? Also, if there is legitimately a body under there, I'm actually gonna die. Hold on, we're gonna draw here. It's a match. So we'll take that. Could illuminate the candle. I mean, we may just as well. Okay, so with that illuminated, does it reveal anything? It does not. Oh boy, there's a diary entry right next to this, uh, you know, piece of tarp with a body-shaped, uh, you know, thing underneath it. Ding Chang is getting pretty with age. A girl's physical appearance changes rapidly through the years. She looks more like a rich lady than a servant. Okay. Can also open this drawer here as well. It's like a puzzle. No, wait, it's a map of the area. So we can see now the layout of the land. There is nothing. Come on. Wait, there's a doll. Bro, am I blind or something? Okay, so if I place the doll on there. Why is it got to be extra and hang upside down, though? You know what I mean? Perhaps we have to find one more doll, though, to even this out. So all eight of the cursed dolls must be accessible right now. Okay, guys, so we're going to find one more of the cursed dolls. You know what? Instead of enjoying this horrible, dramatic zone that we're in, there we go. Let's get some of this over the top. Yeah, guys, we're going uh, to be all happy about this because... You know So, you know, let's get the happy music back in again. As I said before, guys, we're going to be completely happy about the situation we're in. There's no problems here. All we're going to simply do is... Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we know a demon's actively pursuing us, but it's no problem, okay? Happy music over the top. Happy situation, you know? Oh, boy, please be in there. Oh, God, it's a blank draw. What about in this one here? And again, nothing of use. That's great. We've got an ID card right there. That's perfect. And in this one, more nose clipping. Mr. Leo's Diary 7. It's been a long time, and the madame has failed to conceive. How did she get pregnant as soon as the painter came? <laughs> Ah, there's the last door right there. Demons. Listen, I'm doing this riddle to find my door. I'm not trying to disturb you. If you hear my cries, listen, I'm telling the truth, okay? I don't want you to snap up my back meat this time. I literally put it on and the puzzle was done? Okay, I'll take that. And that gives us, by the looks of things, another brass key. Oh, God. Listen, I'm just trying to find a way out. I want to take my daughter with me in the process, and then I will happily leave you to your abode. We're going to assume this is what the key is for. Different looking lock. All we can do is try it. Get the animation. Oh boy. What about a ghost? Okay, I think we're actually good. <laughs> Joke's on you. You've got no head no more. What the heck? Dude, 
Why would you even put this as a decoration as a ceiling? I don't even know right now, guys. Okay, so we're not gonna go that way because that needs to out of the map. I did find the candle, so I guess we're gonna light this thing. Back off, hands. Yeah, how'd you like that? Another match right in there. And I guess they really don't care. So they're just continually gonna be reaching for the longest time. Let's open this door here. Again, that leads to like outside of the map. So we're in like a box room. Is there something here we gotta do? Maybe like a puzzle? Okay, we can look at this. We can angle it but like a certain way. Okay, are we looking to maybe hit something? Shine it that way and that way. Not seeing anything glint, to be honest. Do I maybe want to clean this? Can't use it. I would use it to, like, maybe wipe over it. Obviously not what it's for, though. Oh, with the flashlight off. Hold up. I can see myself, or at least nearly. Don't you dare tell me there's something behind me. Okay. Room looks ordinary that side. We pan over there. I don't see anything. Is this part of the puzzle? I really don't understand. There's a green light there. Is that saying, like, the door is the way through? So this side? All right, I guess I'll go through. So... It loads us back in. So is this part of the puzzle? Check this one more time. Maybe it'll be like a different way. You see. It's the same door. So I guess I'll do the same thing again. Okay, so through we go one more time. Wait, we're still in the same room. It's like looping us. Okay, now it's saying that this side is the good door. Oh, uh, the sound. Look, the sound is not helping, okay? I'm being real. Go back the same way we came. Dude, I just smashed something as I exited that demon realm. Hey, it gave me a key like a golden one too that might be the way through then but i'm guessing the demon was watching the whole time you know oh my god oh my god i think we're good hang on a sec did i ever go this way the freak is this i don't think i've ever seen this all right i'm actually gonna go back through the same way i came this door though is now a the freak can i open this i can't what the heck was that? Also, take the sword and use it to defend your life. There's a load of notes over here. Kind of color pattern. Freaky. Again, this demon is strangling me. My camera's turned off, it's so bad. Fortunately, that demon visit was real short. Tried to throw me from behind when I touched the ropes. I mean, look, I'm sorry. I won't do it again, I guess. Now, what is this right here? The prayer beads never cease to leave Nani Chen's hands. Nani Chen's treasure. So do we perhaps have to find those somewhere? I am unsure. Freak. She's following my daughter right there. Keep following. Oh boy. You know, that don't sound good at all. Intervene? Don't just stand there. The freak, bro, I'm like spamming the buttons right now. It won't let me do nothing. Through. Are you freaking kidding me? Can I push this open? This door would lead to the direction we need to get to. There's these other ones. And we can go through there. And we still have this key that we haven't used. We'll try this door here too. There is stuff out there, but it's locked. And I ain't gonna stare through a door crack because that's when demons jump scare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check these double doors here. We're gonna see if this is an access point. And if it's not, nope. we gotta go back and probably use it on the one way there. And that's basically confirmed it. Okay, so then over to this thing here. See if this is the right key. Not this key. Okay, we got another door here. Somebody locked up like so. And again, we can go on through. So it's looped us back around to this point here. So for the game to do that, there has to be another point where we can actually use this key. The road here. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. All right, again, the thing trying to throttle us to death ain't happening today, Grandma or Danny Chen. That's what I'm assuming your identity is. You get the freak out of here, you frickin'. <clears throat> Don't try me, guys. I get mad sometimes. This is pretty much the last door with the golden looking lock. Let this be the one. Use it. This is it. So we found the solution. Go ahead and open that thing. You know how it is. Here we go. Ooh. Now this is a lot more spooky. Very claustrophobic. Each way is a bit... It's all right. It's just the house breathing or something. You know, old houses, guys, they've always got wind blowing through them. Things move. Completely normal. Oh, gosh. Whoa. There's an upstairs to this place? So this is just expanding more and more as time goes on. Also, if you fall, I swear to goodness, I'm going to rip your robe straight in front of that demon. Look how open this place is. The space in between stuff. So... That looks like another locked up way. It is right there. What else do we maybe have to look for? Okay, can we touch the robe? We can't, but there's like a trunk. Bro, how many times are you gonna try the same strat? Get out of here with those bad looking teeth, honestly. All right, now this walkway is most certainly unique for a reason. Something different is beyond this point. Two locked up doors right there. Perhaps these will just give us like shortcut points through the actual place to open the door. Do I recognize this? Absolutely not. Let's see if my theory stands true this side here. It's actually some illumination. This is back to the incense room, so it does. I mean, we're here. Let's go ahead and save this game. We have nothing to lose. Burn that incense. Smell its goodness. Embrace the fact that you are safe for a little bit longer. Bring it in. Surely after embracing that beautiful fact, yeah, you've left the room again and demons can snap you up and break your neck. Well, I see a staircase. May as well go up the bunny for the daughter. 
don't you dare, left or right, appear, okay? I'm sure there's gonna be a demon that's gonna be like, yeah, what's good? Take the doll. This is bad. No. What the frick? Holy crap! Bro, is that an active pursuer? Okay, you better get the frick. Oh my god! My hand! Oh my god! Get that thing straight back out! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! There you go! Okay, W and D, bro. Try to illuminate all the rooms. Okay, noted. Oh yes, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, that time it worked out. Just run, okay, shift to run. Bro. You ran about four. Holy crap! Run! What the heck? He will not even run! Bro, this is the weirdest chase I've ever had. Go through the door. Ah, uh, dude, I can't run. I don't understand. I'm pressing shift. Listen. Now you choose to run. Ah, uh, bro, this is the worst hiding spot ever. You better stop! What the freak was that sequence? I'm serious. Nobody shall pass? Wait. I think he's still following us. Hold on. Keep going? I think I escaped. I have no idea, though. So this room is always my safe zone. Let me listen. No more heavy footsteps, so I guess we're good. Let me go on through this thing. I'm gonna save. Okay, seriously, I've gotta stop a second. Like, when you're being chased by someone who's trying to kill you, I'm not sure who goes. Nope. Seriously, if you're being chased down and about to be killed, you would probably run even if you had asthma. All right, now, demons, can I please take the dog? <sighs> Are you kidding me? It's back. What the freak is. What the freak just ha I don't understand. What is happening? Listen, I simply want the doll. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. So, does it push me back every time? Is that it? So... That's... I mean, I mean, that's something, I guess. Hey, you know what, demons? You win this round for now. I'm going back in the safety of the incense room. Guys, this was an Eastern culture horror game. I always love delving into this stuff because they do always come out so differently to what you can expect from, like, Western horror games. The whole environment and setting is just so unique, and it's been interesting to experience so far. I'm not exactly sure what the heck is going on and why we're back here. It doesn't really explain that. But there's some decent scares and also very, very random ones at the same time. I figured this thing would be, like, a nice one-off to do just whilst we're waiting for a load of other games to release like days gone is just around the corner okay i'm so excited for that game and obviously i'm going to be doing a full playthrough on the channel but i just wanted to check out this indie game in the meantime because it did look cool and it actually didn't disappoint in the end hopefully you guys did enjoy this one and for this episode as well this is where we're going to be leaving it here if you did why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one